Hey, welcome back to Creators World. This is Season 1, Episode 3, and today I'll be showing you how to make a crane. Now this is very small because I just made it with a tiny square piece of paper, but when you do it, it should be much bigger because you'll use um, A4 square, which is a square that comes from an A4. Um, now I'm using scrap paper because I don't want to waste paper, but if you're doing this as a decoration or a gift, you should definitely not use scrap paper, like use bright colourful paper because that would be much better. <coughs> okay, so first off, you'll need a square piece of paper. Okay, then you fold it in half diagonally, like this, so that you have a triangle. Okay, after that, you fold it in half again, but like this. Like this. Okay. After you do that, you'll have these two open and then this side closed. So then you fold this side half. And you fold the other side by half. Then you open it up. Okay. After that, you make a square. But make sure you open this tip up. Okay. And a square goes like this. Okay. See, the tip was open, so then. Then you want to do the same to this, so you'll open it up here and fold it by the crease, fold it, okay, so by the crease, fold it, and now this bit might be a bit fiddly, but you should be able to do it easily if you open it up like this. Okay, and then flatten it all out. Flatten it all out. Okay. After you have this, you fold the sides into the center. Um, now, always when I'm watching origami videos, I get lost because I keep turning my piece of paper. So you have the closed part at the top and the open part at the bottom, okay? And with the open part at the bottom, fold the bottom bits to the center, okay? Like this. Okay, and make sure you take both of these sides with you. Like this. Okay, now make sure you crease it really hard. Like this. Okay, after that, you open it up. Okay, next we're going to be forming a sort of kite shape. So then, oh, yeah. After you do this, uh, to make it easier to form the kite shape, fold this triangular top bit down so that it just makes a crease along here. Okay. Like this. Make sure you crease it really hard so it's easy to make the diamond part. Okay, after that you open it all up and you'll see you have three creases. One here, one here, and one here. Okay, so that is basically the guidelines for your diamond. Okay. You take the top part from the bottom three layers and you pull it up okay and then you don't pull up this bit you just fold it along the crease okay and then you fold these bits in by it should basically try to do it by itself okay try to flatten it out like this 
Okay, and while you're flattening it out, uh, these bits will fold in by themselves. Okay, make sure it's all the creases are opened up so it doesn't get all crumbly. Like okay, and it should fold along the lines that you just made, like this. Okay. <coughs> After you do this, you turn it over and you make the same diamond shape on this side. Okay? So you pull this bit up, okay? Making sure you don't take this bit, you just fold it along. Like that. Then it's easier to do it on a flat surface. Make sure you try to flatten it out, and while you flatten it out, the side will try to go into a diamond shape. So that's what makes it easy. Okay, after you do this, you're going to be folding these sides. See at the bottom, you should have these sort of like legs. Um, you're going to be folding them up, okay, through these sides in here. Okay, so you sort of flatten it out there and you push it up like this, okay, like this. So you have it sort of coming out, lining up with it, okay? And this bit might be a bit fiddly, so be careful, okay? So you flatten it out, pull it up, and then after you pull it up, you push it in again, like this, and, and you line it up. Okay, look, see this bit here? I'm pulling it out so that... It just folds down better. Okay, and you should have a sort of shape like this. See, it's like got diagonal lines here, and then these bits all line up. Okay. After that, you take one of the sides. Um, I'm gonna use this one, and you make a diagonal fold, like downwards. Just fold it downwards, like this, to make a crease. Okay. See here this okay then you bring it up again and you make a reverse fold so you open it up and you push it in push it into the creases like this and like that you have your head okay now you've got the head and the tail now you push these bits down to make the wing Okay, sorry about the noise, that's just my brother watching TV. Okay. See it like this. Okay, then you turn it around and you do this side as well. Okay. So now that they're down, don't crease them too hard or else they'll stay down. And sort of just easily move them up like this. Okay? So then your wings will be out like this. Okay? Now try to just fold it a bit more so that it's got a bit of a... Look like here. See? They come out like this. Okay? You move down. This. Okay? So you just... Bring them down. Okay. Okay. And then you open this up. No. Just easy. Now there will be this bit here holding them together, so you just open this bit and this bit, like four little legs, and just easily, and it should stand up. Like that. And there you have your crane. Okay, thank you for watching. The crane is sort of hard, so I hope you um, can get it right. Um, now, this is sort of this is scrap paper, like I said earlier. If you're doing this as a gift or just decoration, um, use bright colorful paper because this scrap paper won't really good, look good as a gift. Um, especially if it's got mats all over it.
unless the person likes nuts. So this is just an easy cream. There's my small one, and my big one. Okay, and that's just basically how to do it. I hope you liked the video. Um, please rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, this was season one, episode three, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.